Today we are going to design latch clip in Fusion 360. So first of all we have to make sure for the units, the given units are in inches. So select inches, click OK and open the sketch on the front plane. And for this sketch we are going to design a half sketch and then we are going to mirror the other half of it. So select the line tool, draw a line like that and press OK. So this line we are going to convert it to a line type, a construction line. So this will be our construction line. Just drag it like that. Then again select the line tool. And from here this point we are going to draw a line like that. And then another line like that. And a line at some angle but auto drag this point like that. Again a line like that a vertical line then a horizontal line then a vertical line and horizontal line here to close this sketch click ok or just click on the select tool ok now we are going to define the dimensions so total height from this point to this point it's given as 4 inches ok and from this point this line we have the dimension of 1 inches okay. and this point this point if we move it like that it must face this point so this point and this point they have a relation of horizontal so select this horizontal vertical select this point and this point and add a relation between them a horizontal relation now we have our sketch like that just drag this point and again we are going to dimension this sketch so this height this length we are going to select it it's 6.5 divided by 2 like that and this one it is 3.5 divided by 2 like that and from this point to this point it has the dimension of 1 is okay so now we are going to define these dimension so from this point to this point it has the horizontal dimension of 1.75 like that and from this point to this point it has the dimension of 2.75 and this dimension dimension from this point and this construction line this dimension is 0 0.5 okay it's already defined so no need to define it then we have to see which dimension we can define further to fully define it okay now the dimension of this line it's given one inches now this this sketch is fully defined all the lines are black and all the dimensions are defined so now we can mirror this portion of the sketch on the other side with the reference of this construction line so go to create and we are going to select the mirror tool and for the objects we have to select select the objects this line this line this line this line select all of these lines on this side and we want to mirror it mirror line this construction line will be the mirror line and press ok now the sketch is done finish the sketching go to home and isometric view extrude it so select this profile for the profile uh, select this area of this cloth sketch and here we have to define the distance 0 0.25 is the thickness so this is the lead clip save it and now we are going to do the other design which is guide plate so again we have to verify the units units are given in inches okay create the sketch and on the front plane and select the line tool and we are going to draw a sketch 
just a random sketch and then we are going to define the dimensions so vertical line this is the horizontal line and just auto drag this point like that and vertical line and draw a line like that we close this sketch now we are going to define the dimensions so total height is 4 like that total width 5.5 and this dimension just zoom it this portion it has the dimension of 2 inches and for this line we have the dimension of 4.25 like that no the sketch is fully defined okay finish the sketch and extrude it so just rotate this model like that or you can also hold q and rotate it okay so we have to define this thickness this thickness is 0 0.25 okay now again we have to open the sketch and select this face so though so the sketch is normal to you circle tool select the circle tool draw a circle like that and select the dimension tool so this dimension we have the dimension of one inches and now define the position so from this center to this line this horizontal dimension is one inches and from this center to this origin this dimension is 2.5 okay finish the sketching and now we have to remove this this circle to make the hole so select the extrude file select this portion and we want to remove the material so this will be the direction for the operation we have to select the cut and extended type we can select all so it will make a through hole click ok again go to sketch and open the sketch on this face select the circle tool and draw a circle like that and define the dimension of this circle so this circle has the diameter of 1 inches now we have to define the position dimension so between this center and this line it has the dimension of 1.5 and distance so between this center and this line we have the dimension of 3 inches and finish the sketching now we have to extrude this portion so extrude select this portion and we have to drag this arrow to make the solid so it has 0 0.125 inches or we can also define the this thickness here on under the distance properties again open the sketch and now select this face and we have to draw a circle so select the circle tool and go here on this on this tab on this circle and you can auto track the center of this circle draw circle like that now you can see it has the concentric relation between this circle and this newly drawn circle and we have to define the dimensions and this dimension is given as one inches okay we make a mistake so here on timeline this is the tab we extruded and this is the sketch of this tab so right click and edit sketch and this dimension is 2 inches finish the sketching and now our sketch is good so for this concentric relation if you are not able to auto track this uh, this center you can also add the concentric relation between this circle and this edge finish the sketching and now we have to remove the material to make this hole extruded for the profile select this profile this area of the profile and now our extrusion is on the other direction so make the arrow on the other direction operation must be cut and for the extrusion type we can also select the all click ok now we also did the guide play thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we are going to use, uh, design the angle slider and coupling base
so i'm going to save it play good please subscribe my channel if you are uh, going to watch the other videos